Hey everyone, Pokemon Raider here, and in this video I'm going to talk about something very important. I'm sure a ton of YouTubers have talked about this already. There's PewDiePie, of course, the god of YouTube, and many others too. And uh, it's about time I do as well. So, here we go. Uh, a few weeks ago, the FTC sued YouTube for, uh, I think, $170 million dollars. YouTube now had to follow the strict regulations of the FTC, so they made some new rules, and they technically signed their own death warrant, or at least the content creator's death warrant. Now, if you're a creator, you're going to have to do one of three things. Number one, make all your content for kids. Number two, make all your content not for kids. Or three, it varies based on each video. And the thing is, the FTC and YouTube... Um, they're technically the ones who decide what type of content you make. So if you say, oh, this 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 content I make, it's for adults, and they say, no, -uh, that's for kids, they can fine you up to $40,000 per video. Isn't that just ridiculous? It's fucking retarded, yeah. But again, YouTube signed their own death warrant this way. Also, y you can just say, oh, what, what if I just make all my content for kids then? Well, guess what? That's not going to work either, because by saying your content's meant for kids, you're getting rid of 90% of your revenue, and your videos will not be recommended, and you cannot, like, have channel memberships anymore. And that's just the death of your channel again. So, what should we do? I'd say go with option number three and decide for each video. I'm sure, you won't get paid every time you make a video, so... I'd suggest making more adult types of videos that are definitely not for kids. That's what I'm going to start doing now, because, I mean, I, I have to make money somehow on this. But, uh, I'm still going to be making Pokemon content, and I'll get to that later as well. So, and if it comes to this point when you've lost all hope for YouTube, don't worry. Because there's some hope left. There's a few Roblox YouTubers, actually, there's this one Roblox YouTuber, and I think another, a few other types of YouTubers who, uh, yeah, Creekcraft, he was one of them. He actually got the attention of several actual FTC members, or at least one of them. And he's actually going to have a meetup with the FTC member. And they're going to discuss things like why these regulations are out of date and too strict. And hopefully that'll get YouTube to change their ways back to normal, or at least make them way less strict than they are now. And I, I'm just hoping for the best. Because what they consider child content is just ridiculous on the official youtube things they say uh subject matter of video is educational content whether children are your intended or actual audience or video so that makes sense whether the video includes child actors or models so apparently you can't have a child actor in your video anymore whether the video includes characters celebrities or toys that appeal to children including animated characters or cartoon figures which generally just means if there's a cartoon or animated character, kids content, even if it's something like South Park or something, which is definitely not for kids. Whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand. Now that I'll get to on the official FTC blog, because that, that, that's just the most retarded shit ever. And then, whether the video includes activities that appeal to children, such as play acting, simple songs or games, or early education. Whether the video includes songs, stories, or poems for children. Now that makes sense as well. So apparently, like, what they consider a kid is anyone under the age of 13. And, uh, oh right, yeah, the fine for these violations, $42,530 per violation, which means per video. Yeah, you're screwed, technically, if you make one mistake like that. Okay, on uh, Creekcraft's actual Twitter, so, culture phrases, e.g., a kid's site may be identified as such language as kids only, fun, free stuff, whatever cool duh games and then the one i actually get ask your parents but fun apparently grown-ups aren't allowed to have fun whatever uh, well, I, I use that all the time i'm 18 years old so cool duh i don't say duh very much but cool and then games oh so video games are only meant for kids that's why the m for mature thing is yeah that's that's for kids as well m for mature 17 up no kids so yeah use any of these words that automatically makes it kids content even if you say like 
fucking shit gas bitch sometime in, in your video nope kids content at least like that, that's, that's what that's what i think just baffles me it's just so dumb all right uh so on twitter i saw a tweet that like uh so apparently they were talking about pokemon related content at the ftc some ftc meeting uh here's what they said any other thoughts on mixed audience? Maybe uh, L word to hear from Don, perhaps, on how Pokemon has dealt with that. And then Don McGowan says, sure. I mean, we've, having, as I've mentioned, in the nostalgia-based audience, as well as the kid-based audience, we've got a lot of experience with age gates, and age gating, and parental verifications around them, and all that sort of thing. So essentially, uh, Pokemon content is considered a mixed audience, which means, so it could be either adult content or kids content, which is actually good, which means no matter what you do, you, you can set it as anything you want. Pokemon content, that's a middle ground. You can do whatever you want with that. I'm really glad, so I don't have to stop making Pokemon content. But there's a lot of other stuff that still hasn't been talked about all the way. I, I hope this passes by and we just... It, it's like the Spider-Man leaving the MCU thing when it, he comes back. And then YouTube just co turns back to normal. I hope this is how it turns out. Even though it's not likely. But I, mean, I can dream, right? So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned at least a bit about this whole thing with Copa and the FTC. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to continue making Pokemon content. But uh, I'm going to be making a lot of non-Pokemon content as well. Because honestly, I enjoy making that too. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.